Hi, oh, yeah, so we're back on the Jeep. We've managed to cut off a lot of the rust. Let's just see there and there. A couple of bits there need to be done. And then a lot here. And what we're going to do is a bit more cleaning off. I've cut, cut a lot of the rot off. Probably going to have to cut that off as well. Um, but what we're going to do, that's a big pile of rust and muck that came off of it. Look at the size of that. Just incredible. The interesting thing as well, everything was covered with those plastic trim. Everything. There was just a slight bit of discoloration and I thought, you know what, I'll take that off and I'll, um, you know, clean it off, etc. And by hell, when I took that, um, those protective covers off, it was absolutely just like butter. It was so soft. So we're going to use this uh, Thuckham. Finger sander, great tool. Um, I think that's an 80 grit I'm using. Is that 80 grit? No, it's 40 grit. Yeah, take, take it back, it's actually a 40 grit. So I'm gonna take the 40 grit to it. Take this off. Right, so what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit of sanding down in these areas. Um, is it will give me a nice base to put a plate on there. But what I will do, of course, is I will treat everything with uh, Zinc 182 once I've sanded it down, um, wire brushed it with the rotary brush just to get everything cleaned off. All the chassis as well. Yeah. Get everything cleaned off and then uh get everything cleaned off and then we can um literally start applying the zinc 182 to it uh clean all the chassis off everything's solid apart from all the obviously these areas and obviously here as well, that's going to need cutting off, reshaping, re-welding. Then needle scale the whole of the underside. Um, I wonder where that is. 
I've got a really good needle scaler which I've done a demo on recently a very very good piece of kit um, no not in there really good piece of kit anyway um, and it absolutely strips the rust from the vehicle there we go right I can't recommend these enough this is a Kobe one and what a great tool absolutely unbelievable for doing renovations or restorations whichever I mean absolutely brilliant I've actually gone over most of this already but I'll give you an idea just fires anything and everything off that's horrible. Obviously, you know, you can do a lot of damage with it as well, so you have to be very careful. But I would highly recommend getting a needle scaler if you are doing if you need to do work like this because it absolutely fires everything off that you need to get off like i said i have gone over this already and it has come up really well and the good thing about using a needle scaler also is it tells you or you can feel where it's soft um you obviously have to be careful that you don't go too mental with it but uh <laughs> I have to make sure you're not letting a car go out that's still rusty or oh, with with um you know more problems on it it's now all quite solid i've gone over all of this a bit there <laughs> actually um, needle scaled the whole car even before I had um, taken the plastic covers off and as soon as I took those plastic covers off I didn't even need a needle scaler the screwdriver went straight through it like a knife through butter but hopefully you know we'll do another video of doing the welding uh, make up all those panels um, use the Vink 182, which is here. Zinc 182 on it. And then we can underseal or use U-Pole stone chip on all the underside and getting it look, getting it look right, hopefully. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, um, follow the progress. I'll do one more video on the welding and then I'll do a video on the actual um, painting and under sealing. Um, we did a repair on that bumper there, which has had a nasty crack in it. And we also did a repair using the hot staple gun on the corner bumper, which was very badly cracked. But it came up really well. I uh, used a staple gun, a plastic welder, um, primer, base coat and lacquer. Anyway, thank you very much. Oh, just very quickly, I've got 
a set of alloy wheels, 17 inch alloy wheels that are just away being powder coated, which we are picking up today. And I've got a set of four brand new all terrain tires to go on. So it look, should look the part. The, the car's only actually done 85,000 miles. It's a Mercedes Benz 2.8 CRD engine. So once this cancer is away, this actually should make a nice car. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Uh, please comment any information you find may, may be helpful. That's a T5 we're doing and also you probably noticed we've got the 928 Porsche. That's just had welding. Quarter panels, those have just come out. And it's also had new sills as well. But that needs a lot of work. Hopefully next week when I get gonna get into this, strip it down, sand the whole car down and respray it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Concept restorations, all the very best.